would have thought that we have something like this in our garage? Welcome guys to another film. Today we're looking at the Novitec hot rod. What a fascinating piece of machinery. I've never seen one of these in my entire life. You don't see a lot of hot rods in Germany actually. In this car, the basics or the bases of this car is quite old. If you look down here, you'll see the number plate it says 1931. And that is still the original number plate with which this car was registered. It was based on the Model A Ford. Here we can see the good old whitewashed side walls. Love those. The taxis in Cape Town love these as well. You South Africans would know what I'm talking about, right? And here, the heart of the monster, the five liter V8 engine, straight piped on both sides, just exiting from the exhaust manifold. No muffler, nothing whatsoever. So they said to me, if you want to say something, say it outside because we're not going to be able to have much conversation on the inside. This is the pickup style. There's a loading bay at the back, fuel tank over here. And then inside, all right. Inside is very minimalistic, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. There's not a lot to explain in here, but let's do it anyways. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Wow. I haven't been in here before. Oh my gosh. There is, um, the indicator is a bullet. And whatever that is, is a dice. This is pretty fabulous. So I can't touch the floor there at the back. The gas pedal goes from top to bottom, the brake pedal from there to there, and this gear lever, just look at this thing. So much space in here, and it is rather tinny. You can see very little through the front windscreen, and uh, I think when it comes to creature comfort, it's probably not all too much of that in here. But when you drive this, you drive a piece of personality, and of course, probably you need this. How many of you guys have gone to have your wheels aligned and then when you're driving straight afterwards your steering wheel isn't? I mean that's just so annoying. This is a rather cool feature so if that would be the case then you could simply pull your steering wheel out, realign it so that it's straight and stick it back on. There we go baby. <coughs> These seats over here I don't know if you'd call them bucket seats. Um, it says bad as rod from Ford. It's the hell bucket seat edition. There's a speedo from, I don't know what car that is. Uh, it says 180 top speed. Wouldn't want to try that. There's a rev counter with 8,000 RPMs. Are you kidding me? It's like driving a VW Beetle from 19, who knows, 72 or something. You see there's 160 at the end of your speedometer but you're never gonna go there otherwise fantastic guys there's not really a lot more to say it is a car in its own class and uh, I think the enjoyment that you get from this is going to be connected to the sound and the feeling and the power that V8 up front has maximum 250 horsepower and um, it's uh, mated with an automatic gearbox uh, so it's a uh, brakes and gas and pointed in the right direction. Very excited to take this out for drive. Never experienced anything like this. There are no seat belts. I don't think this seat can go anywhere other than where it is. So kind of just figured out why you can take off the steering wheel. Because if you don't, <laughs> there's no way of getting out. There we go. There we have it. That's the fuel tank at the back. It's in this pickup style, obviously rear wheel driven through that auto gearbox. Oh no, I did lie about the glass. There is a bit more of it, but don't think that's going to protect you much. Really awesome. So I think the time has come. We need to take this puppy out for a drive. Oh. 
Uh, that's a good start. Holy moly. off every time I want to say something oh my gosh what a crayon yeah, yeah let's go this is quite the bumpy ride there's no uh, magneto rheological suspension doing any job here there's no s class business Ugh. this is the raw deal by that sound of the grunting V8. Wow, this is bumpy. Of course, this uh, exhaust, very neighbor friendly. They were so wrong. <laughs> oh, she's loving that. There we go. Oh, there we go. What a monster this puppy is. Oh, my word. Whoa, mental. Just absolutely mental. Woo! All right. Well, guys, I think on that bombshell, we'll say goodbye. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Just leave me some comments what you thought about this. Oh, my goodness. Just... Oh, how does it... Hang on.